The truth is, a lot of corporate organizations are doing phenomenal work. But who knows about it? That is where corporate storytelling comes in. Advertising is good. Public relations is good. Media relations is good. But storytelling is king. It will win you the heart of your customers and they will not want to go elsewhere. And that is why I have decided to become an ambassador of corporate storytelling. My name is Bolanle Oida Mola Oloshunde Jenrola BOJ, and you can quote me on corporate storytelling. See, corporate storytelling is so important in successful corporate communication in the 21st century. This is my public service announcement to all corporate organizations in Africa and the world. Practice corporate storytelling. Let us know what you do. Don't just come and sell us things. Don't just come and announce by posting flyers, by doing video commercials and saying, oh, this is the service we offer. This is what we do. I will now be showing you the different corporate storytelling approach that you can consider this year. One, go with your customers on a journey. You've created a product, for example, and this product is supposed to transform the lives of your audience or your customers in some way take us on a journey of creation let us know why you have created this product so what are you, the reasons for your choices now i'll use an example if you're a bank and you for example created a new kind of debit card that allows your customers to use that card to buy things even when there's no money in their account so it's a special kind of account it's an amazing thing you've done but don't just create promotional materials to say oh we now have a new card this card is best in town even when there's no money in the card you can still purchase all this is good and it's amazing and those who want the product will definitely take the product however the way you win the heart of your customers is by storytelling why did you create that card let them know so all of your creatives and i'll go to the materials that can be used for corporate storytelling in a bit however all of the Things that you're packaging must tell a story. Take us on a journey. First and foremost, why did you decide to create it? Tell us the story of your why, of why you're creating that product, of the problems that you're trying to solve. Then when you've done that, you should take us on another journey, which is the journey of what our lives would be, the outcome of your product. Tell us the story. Tell us the story. The different ways you can take us on a journey to tell the story of your product to us making us like to buy it is one, video marketing. Everybody knows that I am the queen of video as far as I'm concerned. I think that you can do no wrong when you incorporate video as part of your storytelling and marketing strategy in corporate communications. Talking heads, talking heads like this, where someone, see, it cannot be too much. Talking heads cannot be too much. See, I know that a lot of us are practicing, you know, we're doing video commercials. And video commercials are good. They show us an experience. However, talking head videos as part of storytelling can really help people understand. There's no doubt. There's no, it's not ambiguous. Some commercials that I watch about a product are ambiguous. You're selling a chocolate uh, milkshake or something and you, you know, build something around. I may still be confused about what this thing can do. However, with talking heads, there's no confusion. So as part of your corporate storytelling, you must incorporate a lot of talking heads into your campaigns where someone in the organization, be it the CEO, be it the product manager, be it the client service, anybody really who is representing the organization sits in front of a camera with a microphone and tells us how and why this product has been created. So clear corporate storytelling must answer the who, the why, the where, the when, and the how. Who is the target audience of this product? Who will enjoy it? When are they going to be able to enjoy it? Are there going to be deadlines to the enjoying of the product? 
or when from when to when can they enjoy it it must be clear where can they enjoy the product where 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 are they able to um take advantage of this offer so for example if there's a cap if it is only people in nigeria that can enjoy it or if it is only people who can come to your website or if you where sometimes it's not clear information needs to be clear who is the target audience when can they enjoy it where can they enjoy it what is the next w what is it about what is your product about it must be clear what you are offering it's like it's not it's, it's hazy we don't really know what it, it is that you're offering you have to be clear on that then why why is so fundamental why are you creating that product and that is where storytelling comes into it we've decided to create this new chocolate brand because we realize that a lot of people have sweet tooths and chocolate consumption at a very high level is something people are avoiding now because of weight gain because of health concerns so we've created this one that has lower calories that has blah 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 you're telling a story of your why and even infusing your woo in the why to tell a story so that we imagine that a mom of three who has had a stressful day can still enjoy a nice chocolate mi milkshake without being worried about adding more weight you know something sweet tell stories and tell a lot of it and finally your how 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 are you serving them how should they you know how should they expect to be served it is very very important that you are very clear when it comes to your corporate storytelling i think that those five w's the who the why the when the all of those things the five w's and the h they're so important in ensuring that you're actually coherent in your corporate storytelling now i mentioned talking heads as something that is very very important but video commercials are also a phenomenal way of telling a story video commercials are a more expensive way of corporate storytelling but they're they're very very important in one minute or two you can really show people the life cycle of the products that you are offering the product you're offering or the value that you have created because in some cases you've done like an amazing csr corporate social responsibility you've done something that is not even bringing profit to your organization but you have used it to make the world a better place do a one minute commercial about it the world must know even the kind things that you do as a corporate organization is done yes to make the world a better place but to make people know that you are number one you are an amazing organization but do they know do you tell them i see how a lot of corporate organizations on a daily basis are doing a lot of amazing initiatives and yes you may be doing it so that the government will like you so that you'll be in the good books you'll be on the great side of the law so that the community in which you're operating likes you and say oh these guys are number one and they won't give you any issues however the world needs to know it needs to be documented for the future and for the goodwill of the world you expose yourself to opportunities for grants and awards when you document properly and Everybody does it now. Photography and video, they do it. They just get one team and say, you help us just do a video of the day we are unveiling the amazing thing we did. Or photography of the unveiling day. That's just event coverage. That's not storytelling. When you do storytelling well, you're taking us on a journey. Do you get it? So for all of the amazing things that you do as an organization, when it comes to corporate social responsibility, you must, you have enough money to create something amazing. Corporate social responsibility initiatives are not cheap. But I realize that you just want small money, just like, eh, can, can we just get someone to just help us do some quick video? No, 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 no. It has to be a strategy where step by step, you must record the before. What was life before you created your unique solution? Either a business solution or a social, social responsibility thing you've done. What was the before of it? You have to record it. Show us the before and say this is how life was before this product existed or before this TSR thing we did existed. Then when you've shown us, so that's a separate video, a separate thing you've done. 
then let us move away from all of that and say before then the current then you show us the current now that we have done is that's where your events coverage and all of that comes in bear see what it's like see what we've done that's where you have your key stakeholders speak that's one side of it then there's also another side let us see what life is now for people if you've created a new debit card that is a solution to a problem that your financial customers have show me the lives of people that are now using it and are enjoying it you cannot just do commercials video oh this was the launch of the thing this was the no 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 no, no. that's not enough let me see real life people as well that are using it and are benefiting from it, then I'll begin to tell myself, I'm interested in this product. And storytelling would help you deliver that message very beautifully. So either you're a corporate organization or a personal brand, we must look into corporate storytelling, organized storytelling in a way that your impact is felt in the world because of how you tell them through graphics design, through video production, through radio jingles, and every other new that you choose. Please, let us be intentional about storytelling as a part of communicating messages that would have a lasting impact on our audience. It's easier to share a story than an ad. An advert just feels like something that you have created to get me to buy, to get me to like you. And human mind, we don't want to do the things that people tell us to do. But when you tell a story and people find it interesting, meaning you've told them your why, the reason why you're doing it, how it will benefit them, and you're using examples of real life people who are beneficiaries, people tend to even share those kind of stories. And you're the one that is gaining from it. I agree that corporate storytelling may be expensive because of the deliberateness that is required in actually fully documenting every stage of your journey and exposing it. You're going to profit from it. The profit that comes from it is phenomenal. It is because it's a lifetime thing. It's not a one-time thing. When you've made a person feel a certain way because of how you told them a story, that story stays with them. How many people do ads stay with? Even the ads that stay with us are stories. I remember a seasoning commercial, an advert that I watched when I was much younger. And it was a story of a man who walked into the house. He was very hungry, I think. And his wife gave him water. And he just, you know, he was just not happy. He just sat. He was sad and all that. And then the woman just thought, what could be wrong with my husband? She went to the kitchen, made a meal. And as he was perceiving the the smell, the aroma of the food. He was already happy. He was setting this table. He was looking excited. We love that commercial. Everybody was talking about it. Even now, when they recently posted it, after over 10 years of that commercial being released, everybody is still talking about it. Oh my God. Because we can relate with it. It is relatable. It is a story. Do you get it? So even in our commercials, you're selling a product, tell a story. Use storytelling to drag us in so that we see ourselves inside. And once we see ourselves inside and the benefit it has for us, you've won us forever. So my charge for you today is to be intentional about corporate storytelling. Bond Storytelling Agency is here for you. We are determined to help corporate organizations and personal brand tell amazing stories that gives them transformational journeys. So whether you're trying to document your impact or you want to advertise your product, what we do is to ensure that we infuse storytelling in the campaign materials that we will create and go on a journey with you to ensure that your people who you're targeting fall in love with you because of how you've communicated to them. So where your shop plug? I just had to plug that in there because I know some people may be wondering, how do we do this? How do we? Well, Bond Storytelling Agency can help you. Every month, I will be coming to discuss the fundamentals of corporate storytelling and how it will be good for your brand. This first episode is some sort of crash course on how and why corporate storytelling is important. In the subsequent episodes, I will be doing a deep dive into the impacts and steps that you must take to go into effective 
corporate storytelling. My name is Bolanle Onyidamola Oloshunde Generala. Please subscribe and like this video if it has been an impact to you. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.